Good afternoon. What's going on, peoples? It's your boy G Man the Trucker here. This is gonna be a somewhat a special edition video right here. It's actually more of a shout out and a thank you. Um, the other day, I made a little video while I was at work, talking a little bit about you know local drivers and so on and so forth. And uh, my homeboy Trucker Claude from RLC TV, if you don't know who he is, uh, go watch him. Go watch his videos. Um, he makes YouTube videos. He's a local truck driver. He works in food service. And I, I kid you not, when I, uh, when I thought about getting into food service, I found his videos and I started watching them and I was watching every video that he was putting out. Man, I was watching the hard body. Uh, I actually dibbled and dabbled in food service a little bit when I uh, when I first came off the road. I worked for Panera Bread for a little while. And uh, it's kind of similar, you know, delivering uh, I deliver all the food that they make, all the baked goods and stuff. I would deliver them at night. So it was kind of similar. And I actually tried to get on with um, with U.S. Foods, and um, I kind of got a raw deal. Um, for starters, the, there's no co the location that I was looking at was uh, it's like an hour and a half from my house, so it would have been like an hour and a half drive. But you know. To get to that money and with Trucker Claude, you know, how, you, how good he made it seem, and I also spoke to a couple of drivers that I seen in my area, and how how well they spoke about the company. I said, you know what, the hour and a half drive, maybe it, it might be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then uh, I went, I drove out there, I interviewed, and I went all the way out there for them to tell me that. The position that they were hiring for, after they didn't know my background check and everything, the position they were hiring for, they had another driver transferring from a different state, and he was getting that position. So that kind of turned me off from the company altogether. Okay, and um, at that time, I was uh, working where I'm working at now. But the problem is, it was more of a part-time basis you know what I mean I was looking for something more stable at the time you know full-time basis so that's the only reason why I was looking to get into the food service industry but uh fast forward to where I'm at now you know I made a little video when I was at work and uh he went and shared he went and shared my video on his platform and you know I truly truly greatly appreciate it because although I've been making little videos here and there um it was never really a big thing for me. I, I did it more as just a little, a little hobby and started for me when I was on the road. You know, just something for the, for the, for me to document so my kids can see uh, what dad was going through on the road. And that's pretty much what it was. It was never one of these things that I took it seriously. So, um, and that's why if you ever look at my description, it says, I'm, you know, I'm not really trucking. Uh, something I can't remember exactly what my description says, but it pretty much says I'm just a. Uh, just a guy with a, with, a, with, a, with a phone, you know. I ain't got no high tech, ca no high tech cameras, you know, no GoPros or no Canons or Nikon's, none of that. I just use my regular iPhone and film these videos every now and again. But uh, yeah, you know, thank you to Trucker Claude for the shout out. Thank you for everybody who's uh, from this channel that came over to watch my videos. Um, <clears throat> I don't make certain videos because of the simple fact of who I work for. They um. You know, it's federal. It's a federal job, so there's certain things that I cannot post. You know, like I know someone commented about. Uh, they said that the video. It was uh, it was real loud in there, and they couldn't really hear. Reason being is because my company is very, very strict on showing logos and stuff like that. Like I know when I made a video, I have my shirt on, and I normally don't even show that much. Um, like uh, very few people know I work at, like maybe on my Facebook platform because on my Facebook page, it's more of a, 
intimate setting, so to speak. Majority of the people that are on my Facebook are people I know personally, so that's not a big deal. Also, on my, uh, I share it on my uh, my Instagram page, which is, by the way, is G Man the Trucker on, on Instagram. Uh, G M A N D A T R U C K A. Same way I spell it here on, on, on uh, YouTube. Um, you want to send me a friend request? I'll accept it. But back then, I wasn't really accepting a friend request. You know what I mean? On, on, on both of these platforms. Because when I first got here, you know, I had to wait a couple of years to get my foot in the door. You know what I mean? I didn't want to lose my, my job. You know, so often people are so hateful out there that, you know, they'll do whatever it takes to cause you to lose your job. You know what I mean? But now I think I've been here for quite some time now that uh, my job is somewhat secure. Although you will still never catch me making videos of me driving i don't do that anymore uh i won't I, I won't show you much of the facility i won't show you what's inside there the equipment the machines none of that simple fact that they're real private on that because you know we have competitors out there um as y'all very well know our two biggest competitors would be fedex and ups so you know with that being said they don't want those other companies seeing how we do things you know and uh amazon too but amazon is not really so much for competitor because they pretty much only deliver their their products but it's just ups and fedex are our two biggest competitors so that's the reason why um you know we don't we, we're not we're, we're kind of hushed as far as things we can say things we can show you know they come they kind of mummify us kind of on mute so to speak so I won't be doing no videos of me unloading and offloading product, uh, which normally I really, for the most part, I don't load my trailers. I just unload them when I get to all my different stations that I'm delivering to. So you won't see that. Um, I very rarely, rarely show my truck. Um, I have a few pictures, I think on my Instagram, my Facebook of my truck, but it's from a distance. So you don't see the truck number and none of that stuff. And um, yeah, it's like, you know, like I said, it's a very, very private, very discreet federal organization, and they pay me very well. So for me to lose my job over a couple of views, it's not worth it. But at the same time, if you have any questions that maybe I can help you with, by all means, ask me. You know, uh, there's a lot of people out there, like I said in the previous video, who don't have, they haven't experienced both. You got some people who went straight local. You got some people who did just only over the road. And the over the road folks never did local and vice versa. Local never did over the road. I, you know, I had a, you know, I was benefit enough. I, you know, I, I did both. You know what I mean? I was uh, lucky enough to be able to do both. Uh, so I can tell you the, the goods and the bads. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> I, you know, I, I've done it. I've done it a lot. You know, I've been, uh, I haven't been an owner operator yet, um, but I have been. I've been a lease operator. I've been a trainer. I did teaming. I did regional. I did local. I did an over the road, forty eight states. I've been to every state, all in the lower forty eight, um, all four seasons. Um, I come from a family of truck drivers. For the for the for those of you that are new to my channel, that you know. I recently came over. I didn't know that. I spoke about this many years ago in my videos. But my father was an owner operator for years. Uh, one of my brothers was an owner operator. So I have a little bit of, of that knowledge. But uh, it was just something that I didn't want to do. You know what I mean? I didn't, really didn't want that headache. But um, at least, like I said, I was a lease operator before. So I do know a little bit about the industry. Um, so please don't hesitate. If you have any questions, you know, I'm always here. You know, uh, you know, I don't mind helping people. Like I said, I was a trainer, so I don't mind helping new drivers. Anybody who have a question, uh, if you try to ask somebody else and, you know, you didn't get the right answer you're looking for, let me know. Uh, when I was over the road, I worked for a couple of different outfits. So, you know, I have perspective from a couple of different companies. If not, I know people who personally work at those companies. You know, that's one thing about social media. You go up on there and you ask a question, and everybody's quick to bash these companies, you know, you know, like everybody knows 
Swift. Everybody's quick to bash Swift. Swift, Swift, Swift. Well, I tell you what. Swift is not really all that bad of a company. It's the people that they hire that makes the company look bad. But the company within itself is not bad. Okay? I know people who've done very well over at Swift. Okay? I had an uncle who was over at Swift for many years until he retired. He was our owner operator. I have a cousin who, to this day, he's still there at Swift. He started there 15, 16 plus years ago. He started as a rookie company driver and he's been there. And guess what? Now he's over at Swift and he has five trucks that he owns leased onto Swift. So, can't bash the company. You know what I mean? It's the drivers, not the company. There's good and bad in every company. Okay? There's going to be good and bad in every company. You know, that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. But again, thanks to my boy Trucker Claude, RLC TV. If you don't know who he is, now you do. Go find him. Go look him up. Go search him. Watch his videos. He has some good knowledge. He has some good content. Uh, I haven't been watching him in quite some time because, you know, I just been swamp i've been busy at work you know i'm now working i'm back on a night shift again so it's kind of hard my days I'm, I'm i'm normally sleeping i'm just right right now i'm just out running a few errands when i should be sleeping right now but uh you know i i try to catch videos every every day every now and again and my brother claude keep doing your thing brother appreciate you peace from your boy g-man and trucker signing out i love y'all guys yeah, be safe out there.